Hi and welcome back to my playthrough of Dark Horse using the solo variant. I already played a couple of turns, but unfortunately I was not really able to make much progress. Keep in mind my goal is to build three cities and I already only have three cities and on top of those cities I still need to acquire 10 pieces of gold, which is really quite a lot so far. I haven't gotten any gold token whatsoever so I think I really have to speed up a little bit but yeah let's wait and see and I think apart from that we can directly jump into the next round so again we start with a purple player here that's the three politics action I really don't care about this one then it's a four or a four so we place it on a four no that's an eight of course oh, sorry my bad so it goes on to the engineer yep and last but not least the green player that's also eight so in this case i take the highest die being the rail baron here and this is really kind of a pity because during this turn i was really thinking of going there of course i still need to roll a natural five so i'm not sure if i would be able to make it but because i have an engineer token and this prosperous times action card i think i should have been able to go there anyway okay i think there's not much i can do about it so let's roll our dice we are still deputy which is certainly a good thing so let's roll those dice that's a five and a four here would be our natural five and yeah with a four i could still go to the work crew what should i do as I really need to do some progress, I think I will spend my engineer token. Keep in mind, this allows me to place one of my dice onto an action space that's already been taken. Of course, a non-restricted one. This is a non-restricted one, so I would be allowed to place my die here. And I think with the four, yeah, let's just go for the work crew once more. That's already the end of the placement phase. Now we would jump right into the collection phase. So let's grab this die first, produce resources on two hex types. And of course I choose wood and food. So both of those hex types will produce now. So I get two pieces of wood and one food token which I definitely might leverage sooner or later then I will place my prosperous times take the hired hand action for free no dice required so I get a bonus die for the next round and on top of this I'm also allowed to gain three resources of the same type and of course I have to go for ore this time so that's definitely a very, very, very cool card. But unfortunately, we have to discard it now. Yeah, and then we will do the Rail Baron. So this costs me two pieces of ore, one food token. And this gives me two rails, which I have to place immediately. And now I have access to this resource hex here, the ore. I really need that in order to build some more rails. I was really doing, or had have made a really major strategic mistake. I really should have placed my first rail here, then I could be here, and then I would be allowed to place my city right next to those two. I was considering taking it back because I noticed that during editing, but I don't want to cheat here, so I leave it as it is. And yeah, let's see. <laughs> if yeah that might become a problem but for now again i will keep it as it is and i think that's already the end of the round yeah that's the case so let's move the game end token and then let's start the next round what do we have here that's the two the hired hand okay hmm. might be able to live with that let's go for the red player that's the 10. oh man in this case i will lose the deputy die during the next placement phase. For this round, I'm still okay because those are being collected after we've placed our dice. But yeah, this is really a downer. But of course, we must not forget the green player. That's two and a one. In this case, he will totally go for the pioneer action. And this is one of the exceptions like the sheriff where the ghost player will actually do something. So we will reveal two action cards and whenever we see an event card we will trigger this event card. Okay that's the ghost players now back to us. Keep in mind we were able to gain the hired hand for free because of our action card we played. I'm still allowed to use that deputy die so I could change it to a four always the opposite face. Let me quickly 
think what I will be doing with it. Ah, but even though these are three dice, I think I will use the 12 as it is and will place it onto the tycoon action. This gives me one gold and one rail for free though. That's really, really worth it. Let's move into the collection phase. And the first thing to do would be to trigger the pioneer action now. And the way how it works, we would just draw two of those cards. We would reveal them. Here's an action card, Entrepreneur. Receive one Influence and one Rail. Mm, that's okay, the Rail. And the Snake Eyes. Both of those are action cards, so they are just getting discarded. If that would have been an event, we would have triggered it. And then I would also be able to use my fourth ability here. But yeah, we were not lucky this time, so we will just discard those action cards. Then we come to the Sheriff action. This means we have to get rid of the Sheriff token, unfortunately, so we would also lose the die. I will do it right away. So we are here at the Tycoon. So I will place the die here, but because I'm on the Tycoon, I'm allowed to place one rail for free. But what's also important, we would gain our very first gold piece. Awesome, not that bad of a round. Of course, it's really a pity we lost this deputy die here, but yeah, let's see how I can do without it. And then we would end the round and start a new one with a purple pair. That's the one. This goes also to the pioneer action. So we will see two more action cards and potentially our first event card. Let's see what comes around. That's a 10. Okay. It goes to the mayor or the sheriff and I might have made a mistake because you randomly determined this but yeah I will play it now this way so on a one or three it's the mayor on a four to six is the sheriff in this case really a normal player would have taken the sheriff from me pretty sure about that that's a six so yeah this 10 oops this was a 10 goes on to the sheriff's base that's for sure and still the last player that's a three yeah that's Politics action is blocked once more. I really don't care about this one. And then let's, let's just roll our two dice. And yeah, now they are back to normal. Ooh, that's really a very, very lame roll. What should I do with it? I think I will use my wild die token. This allows me to reroll those dice or I could use it to do a plus one or minus one on any of my two dice. I'm not allowed to change the facing, so I cannot use this one to make whatever this two to a natural three, for example. That's not allowed. It's just a virtual change. So I would add a plus one to the three here, for, uh, to the two here, for example. So in total, I have six points. And I think with a six, I will go on to the build a space here. I really want to build my first city now. And then, yeah, let's jump right into the collection phase. We start with a pioneer action here. So again, let's draw two of those action or event cards. And here we have two events. In the normal game, in the multiplayer game, we would now discard both of those cards and the player would be allowed to draw two new cards. But in this solitaire variant, we would just roll a die. One, two, three, it's city fire. Four to six is jailbreak. That's the jailbreak. If a sheriff, if a player has the sheriff role, it is removed. We don't have it. The sheriff action now costs nine plus. So overall, that's better. I think that's pretty okay. And because it's a permanent event, I'm allowed to gain an additional action or bonus die during the next placement phase. Awesome. On top of this, we would place this event thing next to this space. So we know there is an event, but we would also place the corresponding event card next to it. So we will remember. And now it's definitely easier to get the sheriff action. But right now we really do not care. Red player doesn't care about roles at all. And then we will do our builder action and we will go for this city down there. So this costs me four pieces of wood and one gold. So here are four pieces of wood. Here is my gold and I would place this city here. I always have to play it next to a railroad or a rail token. So I'm not allowed to use this one here. I really needed this one. And there always has to be at least one hex between two cities. So this is perfectly legal. And finally, I'm doing some progress here. Nice. Let's move the game and token. Let's do another round. That's the six. That's the build direction. This is blocked. This is definitely good. I went for it during the last round. Then it's the red player. 
that's a six it's smaller or lower than a seven so i take the four and place it onto the work crew and finally the yellow player that's another 10 let's see where he goes again one two three is the mayor no again he's going for the sheriff here so this space is blocked and then it would be my turn and because of the permanent event i'm allowed to reuse my bonus die awesome stuff wow what a weak roll so i think i will totally go for the pioneer action with those because it's really worth nothing to me and i think with the three i will produce some wood here because i need wood in order to build cities and towns as well that's already the end of the placement phase so let's start with the production here those are two units of wood because right now we have two towns on wooden resource hexes and then we will see another pioneer action so now i'm allowed to draw two of those cards and here they are extra gang receive two free whales and an engineer token place rails immediately wow is that awesome and here we have a land deal you may remove one of your towns from the board to receive two gold ah that's also great oh man two gold but here i get the engine and two free rails and i still need some rails oh man this is tough this is tough no i think i will go for the extra gang for now i still have some time left so let's grab this card here i was really hoping for an event because this would give me the bonus die for the next round but that's already the end of the turn yeah that's the case oh but here i nearly missed this this is a card i have to play immediately when i choose it so but yeah why not so i would gain two free whale tokens and on top of this i also get the engineer token we already know this one so i have to discard it right away let's place those rails and i think yeah let's just go into the middle right now so i can still choose later on so i will not do the same mistake again unfortunately i cannot place a city here or here right now i'm also not yet here i still need one additional rail really touching this at one side of the city so one more rail and then i would be good to place my final city onto the board okay that's now really the end of the round so let's move the token and then let's start rolling some dice for the next round that's a politics action again we don't care about it a red player that's a seven so it goes onto the trader this can be a problem but i think not this round and it's the green player that's the eight and yeah this blocks off the engineer space yeah i would go for a wild die here but as i already have the engineer token i'm not overly concerned about that result so overall i think this is really something i can live with so let's just roll our dice that's 11 and i think i have to place it onto the broker action yeah i need this stock certificate or whatever it is because this could give me either three units of something whatever good or one piece of gold that's really important so yeah that's already the end so we can collect it right away let's remove those dice let's grab the token and yeah that's already the end of the round and yeah we are really coming closer to our first yeah round of things so the first 14 rounds are nearly over i really have to speed up but nevertheless let's start the next round again that's the three politics that's the six so we would place it onto the work crew then the green player that's a three and a three yeah in this case we really cannot place it so i will not now take the two dice because now the rules are pretty clear with a double three there's nothing a player would be able to do so in this case the green player won't place any die and then it's my dice that's a one and a one that's kind of disappointing and i think in this case i could either go for the hired hand but i think no i want to go for another pioneer action because in theory this could also provide me a bonus action for the next round if i would be able to draw an event so let's get our two cards so what do we get here we have an event the train rubbers building rails cost one additional or ooh, that's tough or i could go for this action down here so in this case it wouldn't be an event card but then i have to trigger it immediately the player playing this card may choose to take one gold from the bank 
this turn only, but this would mean I have to send two of my dice or basically all of my dice to the prison next round. And I think this is what I will not do. It's one gold, that's okay, but I think, yeah, maybe, let's see. Then we have the dirty deals, take the tycoon action for free, no dice required, even if it has been taken. And here I also have to send a die to a jail, but only one die in this case. So no, I will totally go for the train robbers. This is a permanent event, so I get my bonus die for the next round. That's already a good thing. Then we have to move this event token here. We will place the card right next to it. And then I'm still allowed to keep this card and right, I can basically use it whenever I want to. This is really great. And in theory, I could do it right away, but I think right now I want to wait. So end the round and start the next one. That's the sixth. Build direction is blocked. Hmm, kind of a pity. That's a three, then the politics action. And then here we have the 11. That's the broker. That is kind of a pity, but I don't know if I would be going there this round anyway. Now we have our bonus die because of the event that's been played. And again, a very, very, very unfortunate roll. This is really tough. So I think with this, I will go onto the pioneer action once more. And with the two, I want to produce some more wood. Yeah, let's jump right into the collection phase. Let's get some lumber. We still only have two towns on wooden resource hexes. So we gain two pieces of wood for that. And then it's again the pioneer action. Again, we are allowed to draw two of those cards. So what do we get? Mother load. You receive three all for each of your towns positioned on ore hex, or you may trade any number of resources for one in exchange for ore. That's okay, I guess. But let's see. Ah. Here we see an event card and it seems to be a permanent event card. Gold bank robbers. Gold now costs any five resources when using the trade action. This is really a pity. Oh man. And the player playing this card may choose to take one gold from the bank this turn only pretty much the same. But this can really bring me into a bad situation. So I think, oof, I think I have to do this. No, I will play this one now. So this would give me one piece of gold but yeah see it for yourself i have to send all of the dice to the j really it's a two plus in this case so i would basically lose the next round but at least i was able to gain some gold so maybe it's not that bad at all and yeah this already ends the round so we would get rid of those it was not a permanent event card now keep that in mind I have I played it as an action card in this case so I'm not getting the bonus die but I will be able to use it anyway because they're all in jail so in this case I will only roll the dice for the ghost players but of course not forget the game end token and I'm only doing this because in theory we could see another event so one of the players could go for a pioneer action okay that's a five we don't care about the five let's see that's a three we don't care about the three and here we have an eight. We also don't care about the eight. All my dice are in jails. In a theory, I could still use my dirty deals action, but again, I would lose one die during the next round. And I think I'm still good. I can do that really at the very end of the game if I'm just whatever running short of one piece of gold. So I don't need to play it right away. I guess I have one gold piece. So if I want to build a city, I would be able to do that now. So in this case, I will not play it. So I will get my two dice back for the next round. So let's move the game and token. And again, we will roll some dice. That's the two. The hired hand, this is not nice. Two and a two in this case. No, he will not place those dice. And it's the green player, that's the 10 again. We will roll a die, that's again the sheriff. So this action is blocked this round, that's really a pity. But at least I'm allowed to roll some dice this round. So what did we get? A four and a one. So in theory, I again could go for the pioneer action. I really have to think about it. And because of my special ability, I think I will go to the pioneer once more because yeah, 
I could gain the bonus die out of this, and those action cards can be pretty, pretty powerful. So again, we would resolve our steps. Yeah, there's not much else to do. So let's draw our two cards. Okay, what do we have here? Eavesdropping. Take first third order, one wild die token, and look at any number of cards that your opponents have. That's cool for the multiplayer game. The wild die token is okay, but not really great. Private investors lose one influence point, receive one free town and one free rail, place both of the board immediately. Okay, this would bring me last into the turn order, but I really don't care about this one, but I don't have an influence point. So I might really want to gain one influence point in order to play this card, because this is definitely what I want to hold. I don't care about the eavesdropping now. Uh, it was not an event, so ooh, not sure if this was really a great idea to go to the pioneer action but yeah nothing i can do about it and now we would take this game and token we would not move it to the zero instead we would move it back to the 14 and now we have 14 more rounds to go okay that's pretty tough i really have to speed things up i really need to see the trader and the market relatively often and i really have to produce like crazy so i really need resources in order to trade those against gold right now i'm pretty okay doing that but man this will really be a very very close call but i think i will end my playthrough for today and i also think i will finish this playthrough during the next episode so i should be able to take care of those 14 more turns during the last video and yeah i think three episodes would be pretty nice for a game like this i really hope you are still enjoying this hope to see you soon in one of my other videos and yeah until then bye bye <laughs>